Action. Restorative justice is a way to offer an opportunity for schools to restore and address conflict and misconduct. Here we find a situation that depicts one interaction in high school in the hallway outside of Mr. Timmy. The school bell rings. Charlie rushes off and leaves Sam. You know you're late already. You might as well give it up. Easy for you to say. Tony and Pat are at their shared locker shuffling through papers, which is located around the corner from where Charlie and Sam are. Bro, where's that paper? Tony continues with his homework search while holding a gang of papers in his hand. A sheet of paper falls out and lands on the ground. Pat moves and bends to retrieve it. Charlie flashes past Pat and mauls Tony to the ground, causing all of the papers to fly, and, but he keeps running. Bro, I'm sure you're not going to let them get away with that. Tony, while on the ground, grabs his ankle. Charlie nearby bangs on his teacher's door. Mrs. Black, let me in, please, let me in. Pat looks angrily in Charlie's direction and glances at him as he finally walks past. It's all right. Let it go. Let it go? Nah, man. How many times do we let it go? You feel me? Pat walks off in mid-conversation, heading towards Charlie and Sam. Tony finally fights his way up to Stan, continue, continuing to gather his paper. Pat, chill out. Can't afford any more trouble. Pat shrugs off Tony, walks angry, aggressively towards Charlie and Sam. Who do you think you are? Sam and Charlie continue to bang on the door, ignoring Pat. Uh, Miss Black, can you please let us in? Pat walks up and pushes Charlie as Sam steps in between them. I would move if I were you. Sam slowly, slightly allowing Pat to step past him, now standing face to face with Charlie. Charlie, I know you're not about to let this jump. Even your space and disrespect you. Aw, oh, man. Pat pushes Charlie. Sam pulls out his cell phone and starts videoing the confrontation. Yeah, do something. Pat pushes Charlie again, which starts a tussle between the two. In the high school hallway afternoon, Mr. Tim, Mr. Tim's reading and walking in the hallway. Here's the commotion around the corner. Situations that pop up quickly can be addressed in a non-threatening way using effective statements and questions like, what happened? What were you thinking at the time? And can you think of anything you could have done differently? When asked with respect and without judgment, effective statements and questions can begin to turn conflict and potential into potential opportunities to learn to and grow. Charlie pushes off Pat and balls up his fist as Mr. Timms simultaneously runs to confront the two, ensuring there is no physical altercation, stands in between the two. Charlie. Now everybody, calm down and breathe. Ooh. Sir, he started it, but I'll finish it. Come on, boys. I hate to hear you talk this way. You guys are better than that. This ain't over. Charlie, anger doesn't solve problems. Now breathe. Charlie starts to leave, begins to calm down, and then walks off. Walking doesn't solve this ongoing issue. Today is that day. This drama must cease. There's nothing to talk about. I tried to end this debacle. Yeah, ain't nothing to talk about. We can handle this like men. What happened? He thinks he's tough. Pat tries to break free from Mr. Tim. Shut up, snitch. Shut up, snitch. Boys, go to class. Charlie, I'd appreciate it if you can meet me in my office. I'm cashing on I'm cashing in on the favor you owe me. Please go to my office and calm down so we can discuss this. Pat intensely stares through Mr. Timbs. See. Okay. So action. Restorative justice is a way to offer an opportunity for schools to restore and address and misconduct. Here we find a situation that depicts one interaction in high school in the hallway outside Mr. Tim's room. The school bell rings. Charlie rushes off and leaves Sam. You're already late. 
You might as well take your time. <laughs> Easy for you to say. Tony and Pat were at their shared locker shuffling through paper, which is located around the corner from where Charlie and Sam are. Bro, where's that English paper? Tony continues with his homework search while holding a gang of papers in his hand. A sheet of paper falls out and lands on the ground. Pat moves and bends to retrieve it. Charlie flashes past Pat and mauls Tony to the ground, causing all of his papers to fly, but keeps running. Bro, I'm sure you're not going to let him get away with that. Tony, while on the ground, grabs his ankle. Charlie nearby bangs on his teacher's door. Come on, Miss Black, let me in, let me in, please, let me in. Pat looks angrily in Charlie's direction and glances at Sam as he finally walks past. It's, it's alright. Let, let it go. Let it go? Nah, man. How many times do we let it go? You feel me? Pat walks off in mid-conversation, heading towards Charlie and Sam. Tony finally flights his way up to Sam, continuing to gather his papers. Pat! Chill out! Can't afford any more trouble. Pat shrugs off Tony, walks aggressively towards Charlie and Sam. Uh, who do you think you are? Sam and Charlie continue to bang on the door, ignoring Pat. It's black! Please let us in! Pat walks up and pushes Charlie as Sam steps in between them. If I were you, I would move. Sam moves slightly, allowing Pat to step past him, now standing to face with Charlie. Hey, Charlie, I think not to let this chump <laughs> get in your space and disrespect you. Pat pushes Charlie, Sam pulls out his cell phone to st and starts videoing the confrontation. Yeah, do something. Pat pushes Charlie again, which starts a tussle between the two. At school hallway afternoon, Mr. Tim, Mr. Tim's is reading and walking in the hallway. Here's a commotion around the corner. Situations that pop up quickly can be addressed in a non-threatening way using effective statements and questions like, what happened, what were you thinking about at the time, and what could you have done differently? When asked with respect and without judgment, effective statements and questions can begin to turn conflict into potential opportunities to learn and grow. Charlie pushes off Pat and balls up his fist as Mr. Tim simultaneously runs to confront the two, ensuring there is no physical altercation and stands in between the two. Charlie! Now everybody, calm down and breathe. No, he started it, but I'll end it. Come on! Fellas, I hate to hear, I'm sorry, I hate to hear you guys talking this way. You guys, you guys are better than that. This ain't over. Charlie, anger does not solve problems, now breathe. Charlie starts to leave, begins to calm down, and then walks off. Walking doesn't solve this ongoing issue. Today is the day this drama must cease. There's nothing... There's nothing to talk about. I tried to... Oh, I'm sorry. There's nothing to talk about. I tried to end this debate. Yeah, there ain't anything to talk about. We what can happened? handle this like men. What happened? He thinks he's tough. Pat tries to break free from Mr. Tim's. Shut up, snitch. Fellas. Shut up, snitch. Fellas, go to class. Charlie, I'd appreciate if you can meet me in my office. I'm cashing in on a favor you owe me. Please go to my office and calm, calm down so we can discuss this issue. Pat intensely stares through Mr. Tim's. Let's see. <laughs>